Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me today for Spider-Man. Sega Genesis Spider-Man. This is my copy that I got way back in 1991. Um, it's an unusual copy to have. It's a North American release. As you can tell, it says Sega Genesis. But then down here at the bottom, 16-bit cartridge for use with the Sega Mega Drive. That's interesting. They weren't known as Mega Drives in the United States. They were known as Sega Genesis. It also came with one of these. This sticker. Uh, my friends over in uh, UK will recognize that instantly. Came right here on the side to seal the case. Um, a lot of North American, in fact, almost all North American uh, Genesis uh, Sega Master System games, they didn't have these stickers. All right. Uh, but this is a North American uh, release. It's unusual, though. That's a PAL manual. But it says Sega Genesis. Yes, they speak other languages in North America, you know? Uh, Spanish, French. Some people refer to this as a Canadian variant. Uh, because it has French as one of the many, many languages on the inside. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. It's just a little unusual, not uncommon at all. Uh, this was my copy that I got, like I said, 91. I must have been like 10. I was kind of dumb, though. I sent the UPC symbol in um, to get a free game for... I, I don't even remember what the game was, but I sent in, like, a few UPC symbols, and I was stupid, and I just took an X-Acto knife to this case. I didn't realize at that point in time that uh, the paper underneath this plastic, it wasn't one thing. I They were so well put together to my little child mind... It seemed like all of this was just kind of one thing. The case was one thing. And so I took an X-Acto knife to it and I cut that out. And I'm a little embarrassed by it because I really didn't do a good job. Uh, but I keep it because it reminds me of kind of the permanence of uh, dealing with these old pieces of media. And... Uh, I enjoy the game, mainly for nostalgic purposes, because it's a game that I played as a kid. It's incredibly difficult, but, you know, it was the game that you could play as Spider-Man. And so I enjoy it for that. So right now, let's check out Spider-Man on the Sega Genesis. This is Retro Projections. Spider-Man versus the Kingpin. Man, I got this one when it was still new, right? Uh, it's one of my very favorite Genesis games that, uh, well, soundtrack. Not my, not my favorite game, but favorite, one of my favorite soundtracks um, for the Jim's Sound Driver, right? So the Jim's Sound Driver. If you've seen my 100th episode, is, um, well, it's a system that, that Sega developed to make composition uh, easier for the Sega Genesis, because we're talking about a very elaborate um, kind of system of coding to get the sounds correct with the uh, synthesis chip that they have in the Sega Genesis. So, they made this easier uh, to deal with kind of interface called the gems and they made some really terrible music <laughs> and, and all kinds of sounds sounds a little samey um, but this 
is one of the very first games that came out that utilized it, and they really wanted it to um, be special. And they spent an extra long time getting this game out. This was originally touted as, as uh, a game that was going to be near a release title. Uh, it was not a release title. It came out in 91, so about, about two years later. So the whole town is after Spider-Man because Kingpin offered a uh, big reward. So you go in here to his apartment. And the plot unfolds. Waterfront Warehouse. If you hear the little squeaking sound, that's supposed to be these little guys. These little rats squeak. So you always know there are rats around when you can hear that. And you should be careful because they are rabid little a-holes and they'll bite your ankles. This is where the music starts to get good. Picture him shooting at me. Little a hole. Oops. There we go. Wet. to drive a forklift and um, I never attempted to kill Spider-Man with a record show. Not all forklift drivers are able. I mean most are, let's be honest. Alrighty. 
Mr. Octopus. Doctor. To you. What do you think he's a doctor of? Having eight arms? Yeah. All right, Doc. Cop up the details of Kingpin's plot. Dream on, insect. He keeps us in the dark. All I know is that he's hired plenty of your old enemies. Lizard, Sandman, and others. He split up other keys to the Son of the Bomb along all of them. He's the Son of the Bomb. Doc, I could kiss you. Hand over and merry way and blah, 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 blah. Whatever. He's going to go, uh, we're going to go fight the lizard now. The pictures are very important. They get you money. Oh, that guy's not very photogenic. Only give me five bucks for that one. Did I not get a picture of Doc Ock? Oh, man. That's like 200 bucks. Oh, well. Ain't no big deal. I forgot. I was too busy kicking ass. Oh, that's cool. Come on. What bat would attack Spider-Man? That's stupid. really didn't know what to do with Spider-Man. At this time. Let's get this. He's fighting rats and bats. Come on. He's a crime fighter, not an exterminator. Alright. We come out here, and we got some mutant freaks to deal with. Sewers, New York City. That's a web shield I have there. Very handy. What do we got? An alligator. away from that guy. Lizard man taken down. That makes two keys. How many are there all together, tall, green, and gruesome? I have no idea. The kingpin promised me your destruction. I have no interest in his larger schemes, and even though you bested me, the others will assembled will conduct. Conduct you to your doom. Huh, well, whatever that means. Uh, that's a good idea. Hey, let's go find uh, the next guy. 
It says Sandman there, but it's actually not. It's, um, what? What's his name? Shockman? Shockman? Is that his name? Electro? I don't know. I don't remember. What would be scarier to see in the, uh, sewers? An alligator, a mutant jumper, or a lizard man? I don't know. Lizard man's pretty scary. I mean, mutants. Jeez, what is this? What is this, the X-Men? No, it's Spider-Man. Good evening, once again, New York. I regret to inform you. Spider-Man has apparently gone mad, destroying an abandoned warehouse and lurching through the sewers in an uncontrolled fashion. Our police, of course, are doing a heroic job, but I am now prepared to increase my offer to 50,000. Increase your vigilance now more than ever. We must protect ourselves. Sure thing. Boy, I hope I never get on that tub of lard's bad side. How does he keep making those transmissions? He must have a power source somewhere. Wait a minute. Kingy never buys what he can steal. He's probably using the city power. Ah, who just loves that station and all that up? Okie dokie. My life is decent, but not great. somebody with that. I keep this up, I'll be able to make my own Florida. Spare me your sickening jokes, my dad. Okay. Only because I'm a nice guy. Feeling pretty frisky right now. What? The, this is turning into a different kind of comic than I anticipated. Alright, alright. Sandman. This one's fun. I like Sandman. Central Park. I think you gotta fight them at one of these locations. That's it. I forgot to get more photos. I'm not doing so good with the uh, whole uh, being a freelance photographer thing. I never was very good at that. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I died, don't you know? It's alright. Unlimited continues in this game. Fight that monkey again, don't I? One more picture. It's tough. Kind of fun, you know? Spider-Man. Anyways. It might be the type of game that you want to pick up and play. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's Honestly, it's kind of janky. I've got a lot of nostalgia for it. Um, but I don't, I don't recommend it to anyone, to be honest. Um, <laughs> controls are bad. It's tough. It's really, really hard. Uh, game over, because I played on easy. Gotta play on normal or hard, folks. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one. Bye now.